U.S. Food Service proudly presents this program on server training. <coughs> Greetings, wait staffers. I'm Mark the Voice. My function is to fill you in on some pretty cool stuff. Not stuff about modern dance, the way proper young ladies meet boys, or any of that, but important stuff about making your job easier and earning one heck of a lot more money. But before I continue, let's meet our delightful server, Shauna. Thanks, disembodied Mark. Like he said, my name's Shauna, and I'm here to show you how I make bigger tips for my customers, all without doing anything unusual, illogical, or illegal. You know, Shauna, when people go out to eat, they fork over about $16 billion in tips every year. $16 billion? Every year. Long green, huh? The longest. And here's something else I read. In a recent restaurant survey, three things that annoy people the most while eating out are cold food, servers that disappear, and disrespect. So what's the answer? control what I can control, especially the last two points. And that's exactly what this training film is for, to show you how things you can do every day will consistently help you make more money every shift you work. Okay, let's roll. Here we go. I know you've probably heard this before, but it's worth repeating. First impressions are lasting impressions. So make your first impressions a great one. Be neat, clean, and attentive at all times. And above all, make eye contact. <laughs> Servers who make eye contact tend to earn larger tips. Now let's look at Shauna. She's neatly dressed. She looks to be happy, and she is happy. This server makes it plain she's up for doing a good job and is interested in her work. Now, here's a few more ideas you may want to try. When a customer places an order, you have a huge opportunity to suggest something that's a little extra cost, but a whole lot better. When a customer asks for a glass of water, I suggest a bottled water we carry. And when they order a martini, I ask if they like any specific brand of vodka or gin. Exactly. You'd be amazed at how quickly a few extra items and desserts add to a check total and your resulting tip. When you're talking up entrees, appetizers, and desserts, use highly descriptive words and phrases. Words like gooey, creamy, crispy. It's all about painting a picture in the customer's mind. And when you get them that far, the sale's as good as made. When a customer stops to ask you for something like a refill or a condiment, make a quick scan of the table to see if there's anything else that they may need. The time I save can be spent servicing other tables or just keeping my act together when things get busy. There's so many things to do while you're waiting tables, it's easy to forget why you're there. Keep in mind that no matter what happens, your first job is to serve the customers. So even if the phone is ringing, the chef is screaming, the bartender just needs a hug. Don't forget, you're here to wait on the customers in front of you. Nothing turns off a customer like a server who's lost his or her cool when things are busy. So stay focused and relaxed. And if a table's getting antsy, apologize for the delay and then thank them for understanding. Remember, you're there for the customer. Flipping out isn't going to help. People like to come in contact with other people. If it seems appropriate, lightly touch your customer on the shoulder while taking their order. They'll appreciate the personal approach to your service. If your customers are in a booth, crouch down low at the end of the table while you're talking to them. It helps you maintain eye contact and relaxes your customers. Last one. As you take your dessert order, you'll notice some customers seem to be right on the edge of taking one. That's your key person. They're what we call your half percenters. Those who just need a little nudge to get them the order. 
And when they do, it'll tell the rest of them who haven't ordered dessert that it's okay to do so. A lot of how much money you make is up to you. So just think it through and do it right. Now let's talk about another smart idea, the new hot operator menu. I can tell you right now, most places I've worked at see menus as nothing more than food lists. Your new hot operator menus are different. They've been designed to sell more items, make your job easier, and help you get bigger tips. In fact, servers who've used these new menus note an increase in bigger and better tips. Okay, now let's look inside. You're probably thinking, big deal, it looks like any other menu. But look deeper, deeper, deeper. Wake up, Shauna. Customers read menus in a certain order, and their eyes catch certain details, just like when scanning a newspaper or a magazine. By putting the right items in the right places, customers will order more of the expensive items more often. And that means a higher check total and a bigger tip for you. See these highlighted areas? They're called eye catchers. They consist of items we want customers to notice immediately and order. Point them out and say something like, These are what we're famous for. Or, Customers rave about these. Now, here's what we call our mental anchor. This little tool gets into your customer's head and causes them to buy a more profitable item than they might otherwise buy. How's that for cool? It works like this. When your restaurant offers an item that's kind of pricey, we also show it as a double order at around twice the price. That single order seems like a bargain, and the lower price is what your customers will act on. Finally, your menu may have what's called a fantasy item. The fantasy item also offers an outrageously high-priced item to make other items on the menu appear more reasonable. For instance, we offer something crazy like dinner for two on Saturn's third ring. The fantasy item gives you an opportunity to make a joke of it, easily opening up a conversation with your customers. So now that you've put your customers in the right frame of mind, let's get down to the basics of actually taking the order. Step 1. Start with the menu. After you greet your customers, work your way around the table handing each customer their menu. Say something like, Before I take a drink order, I'd like to point out a few of the things we're famous for and immediately point out the highlighted features on your menu, including entrees, appetizers, desserts. Step two, take a beverage order. While you're gone, your customers will be thinking about all of their options. Step three, push appetizers. Ask the table, which appetizers would you like to start out with? In most instances, at least one of your customers will want one, which can add a few more dollars onto the bill. Step four, Try lining up a dessert order. Seems strange? Well, if you plant the idea in your customers' minds right away while they're hungry, it'll sound too good to pass up. Step five, take the entree order, starting from your left and going around the table counterclockwise. Naturally, someone will ask, what's good here? This is your opportunity to upsell. Don't miss it. Say, everything's good here, but some things are really special. And start selling. Step six, try dessert and appetizers one more time. So again, step one, hand out menus and start your pitch. Step two, take a beverage order. Step three, push appetizers. Step four, try lining up a dessert order. Step five, take your entree orders. And step six, try mentioning appetizers and desserts just one more time. Above all, Take the time to think through your job. There's a saying I use that goes, if you don't use your head, you'll have to use your feet. In other words, a little thinking ahead will make you more efficient, make you more effective, and make you more money every time. Order's up. Gotta go. Oh, good luck. Yeah, baby. To have your menu look just like the ones in the middle of this program, call 1-800-316-3198. That's 1-800-316-3198.